President Trump started his day today with new attacks on Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings and his home district in Baltimore. So far, Republicans have been mostly silent, but the response from many others, including the Baltimore Sun, has been scathing. Here's Nicole Killian. President Trump defended his Twitter tirade against Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings, saying Sunday, there is nothing racist in stating plainly what most people already know, that Elijah Cummings has done a terrible job for the people of his district and of Baltimore itself. The president doubled down after calling the city a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess and no human being would want to live there. This People, is being perceived as racist. Do you understand why? I understand why, but that doesn't mean that it's racist. The president is pushing back against what he sees as wrong. No. The president's acting chief of staff said the president called Cummings out over perceived conditions at migrant detention centers along the southern border following his dressing down of the acting head of Homeland Security. What does that mean? What does that mean when a child is sitting in their own feces, can't take a shower? Come on, man. In Baltimore, the local Sun newspaper slammed the president in an editorial with the headline, Better to have a few rats than to be one. The paper's op-ed writer told CBS News, at some point, you just have to address the stupidity of it. City officials also took aim. It's just unfortunate that the president of the United States, who is supposed to be the leader of the free world, can stoop to such lows. The controversy is drawing comparisons to the president's recent attacks on four Democratic congresswomen of color, all American citizens, to go back to their own countries. Our president has a hate agenda. Some Republicans had trouble defending the president. Is that presidential leadership? Well, look, I, I, look, I, I didn't, it's, I didn't do the tweets, Chuck. I can't talk about why he did what he did. And Nicole, there is also breaking news at the White House tonight. That's right, Elaine. Just a short time ago, President Trump tweeted that he is nominating Texas Congressman John Ratcliffe for the position of Director of National Intelligence. He would potentially succeed Dan Coats, who the president says will be leaving August 15th. He thanked Coates for his service. Back to you. All right, Nicole Killian at the White House. Nicole, thank you.